new setups on the rework theme park, canal and clubhouse. Subtitles are available. For canal and clubhouse to check the previous new setups, make sure to hand it into the description. I'll, I will give you the links of the previous videos with the timestamps there. Theme park. Donators voted for Armory and Throne, the newest objective. Since this is a new map, no cut will be done, so you can exactly follow where I'm going. If you don't have Kite or Bandit, you will have to jam these two set of walls. It is very important to have them closed off for the current meta. We will expand our defend hold vertically by having a jammer by this hallway. It will be destroyed once attackers get really inside of the building. The jammer will block any drone coming to the drag and the hallway overall during the whole period, which means a very strong jammer if you have a defender nearby. Careful about the drone hole in the barrel, maybe I'll have a rotation from the hallway to the barrel and contest the window behind the barrels, that's up to you. The final jammer will be in the toilet on this side. This setup of two jammers allows you to play very aggressively into the barrel, drug and the hallway. Let's see the attacker's perspective. This is the last objective for Canal, CG meeting and launch. We will use the setup mostly to deny the horizontal push towards the objective. Investing jammer below will work with specific strats, but since you will most likely be playing in the duo or free of queue or less, I will give you the bad default jammer setup. We will start with denying archive drones, as well as any drone trying to come from this hallway, either from the bridge or reception's double door. Be careful how you are placing the jammer, you want to place it to jam both doors and not be exposed as much from neither of the sides. It should be only be able to destroy it if attackers are deep into the bridge, repelling on the window or in the reception. Either way they will be very exposed. We will now move to the blocking both staircases with just one jammer. And the last entrance to the side is left by this hallway. It is recommended to put it on this side, paired with a deployable shield. Even without deployable shield, putting a jammer over here is totally okay, as the takers have to be in the T, close to objective, to get rid of the jammer. That means your jammer already did its job. With this whole setup, as previously stated, we are not letting attackers to drone you out anywhere on this side of the building, aside from proving drones through some windows. Let's see the attacker's perspective. For our last map and the last objective to cover up, Clubhouse, we'll go to Baron Stock that you probably should never defend. However, Solo King is a weird plant, therefore I'm going to keep you ready. Assuming that your team will hold it from CC or Cash, if they don't you're screwed anyway, we'll have our first jammer to hold the player in the garage catwalk, then we'll use a jammer by the Cash door to construction, and the other two jammer will be on the first floor. 1 to 9 storage. We won't have any jammer in the stock as you will have a player in there and he can himself deny the drone. We will use the last one to block drones coming to pool, from pool to bar. It's very similar to the canal one. It is exposed once attackers get deep into the building or once they become very vulnerable. With this whole setup, you're mostly denied the stock push and you are helping your roamers on the top. Let's see the tagger's perspective.
Thank you for watching the video. If you have any feedback, let me know down in the comment section below. If you would like to support me, drop me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell not to miss any video from my channel. Make sure to join my Discord server and follow me on Twitter.